are watching Faith World TV. Faith World TV, changing the world with the Word of God. Let there be light in the name of Jesus Christ. And by the grace of God, this is our 104th live broadcast. And it's the uh, 6th of June, 2020, 0606. 2020 and by the grace of god the lord has given us a message in jesus name but we'll pray and dedicate this studio to the lord in the mighty name of jesus christ because every second counts in jesus name in the mighty name of jesus christ holy spirit come holy spirit come and reign holy spirit spirit of god holy spirit come and reign come and reign holy spirit come holy spirit come and reign Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, Holy Spirit, come and reign, come and reign, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit, come and reign, Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, Holy Spirit, come and reign. Oh God, our help in ages past and our hope for years to come. Lord, I say Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Kadosh is a Hebrew name. It means holy. And maybe there is someone who just had a baby, maybe a baby boy, and you are looking for a name to name that child. And the Lord is saying, Kadosh, Kadosh. Yes, Kadosh. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And maybe you are you're, you're hoping to get pregnant, and the Lord is giving you the name Kadosh for your baby in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, Lord, I say Kadosh. Lord, on this broadcast, Roar like a lion. Soar like an eagle. Let your voice be heard, Lord. Let your voice be heard. In the name of Jesus Christ. Arise, O Lord. Display the strength of your ark. In the name of Jesus, the ark of your mercy and covenant. And the glory of your mercy, Lord, let it be seen in the name of Jesus. And King of glory, make me a flaming fire in the name of Jesus, as your word has written. For your own glory alone in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Take charge in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. You're welcome to the broadcast in the name of Jesus Christ. And the title of the message today, Father, before we continue, we rededicate our lives afresh in Jesus' name. Make us usable now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Lord God Almighty, let their ears hear in Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for your message in Jesus' name. Today's topic, the Lord has titled it, Merciful God, and in bracket, Eberechuku. Eberechuku is my second name, and um, it means God's mercy or, mercy, or we can say merciful God, or we can say the mercy of God. And the Lord will bring light in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, there is a name for every destiny. I'm not here to talk about names anyway, but it's about the mercy of God. There is a name for every destiny, and there is a destiny for every name. So whatever name you call your child, whether it's a first name or second name, those names will work, whether life or death, as you, as you speak. So it is very important that you prophesy life over your children. We have said it so many times in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And listen to me, the so-called white people have more demons, more demons. The so-called white people, white, have more demons. And you wonder why the so-called black people are battling with more demons. These ones have more, but these ones are battling with more. It's a word for meditation. It says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, Hosea 4, 6. But knowledge is a product of mercy. If God refuses to unveil, there is nothing you're studying will amount to. That is why you see people, they have PhDs and everything. They can't get a job. It's everywhere. Hosea 6.6 6. Knowledge is a product of mercy. And knowledge is only possible by mercy. Without mercy, knowledge will not stand. Without mercy, hard work does not stand. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's go to Lamentations. 3.22 precisely. 3.22 
in the mighty name of Jesus. It says it is, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. His compassions, it is of his mercies that we are not consumed. His compassions fail not. For the Lord's mercies we are not consumed. Not for paid tithes. Not for tithes. Not for offerings. Not for vows. Not for charity works. For the Lord's mercies we are not consumed. His compassions fail not. We, we are not saved from coronavirus because we prayed and fasted. We were not saved because we prayed and fasted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We were saved because Christ had our cry for mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So if you are alive, always thank God for his mercy. You know, the African pastor, majority of them, this is what you hear from them. I fasted seven days. I've done seven days fasting. Uh, fasted for, uh, prayed for 20 hours of the day. Eh? No food, no water, no pool, no we. And it sounds, and, and if you don't do it, your ministry will not grow. That's the African pastor. It is mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. It is mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. They say if you don't pay tight, if you don't fast, your even tight depends on mercy. Without mercy, tight cannot work. And people are paying tight every day. And still they are stuck. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So African pastor says about fasting and prayer. You pray long hours. Joyce Mayer says, I don't know how to pray long hours. I pray for very sh short minutes, but effective prayers. And they are working. You can see clearly they are working. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is mercy, not how long you have invested. Not how many jobs you are doing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is speaking to somebody in Jesus' name. Now let's go to Psalm 106 verse, Psalm 106 verse 44. To 46. It says, and I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version. It says, Nevertheless, he regarded their distress when he heard their cry. For their, for their sake, he remembered his covenant. So covenant can be forgotten. He remembered his covenant. Listen to, for the reason why he remembered his covenant. He said, according to the abundance of his steadfast love. You check other versions, they will tell you his mercy, clearly mercy. He caused them to be pitied by all those who held them captive. Covenant was remembered only by mercy. Only by mercy, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God said in his word, he said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy on. Let's go to Romans 9, uh, 15 to 16 quickly, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, he says, for he, he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of you that will it, nor of you that run it, but of God. That showeth mercy. Jesus Christ is the mercy of God. But he can only save. Can only save those who have put their trust in him. And he can only save those, first of all, who God has drawn. Because he said, let's go to John. John 6, 44 to 45. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. John 6, 44 to 45. May God be glorified. He says, no man can come to me except the Father which had sent me draw him. And I will raise him up at the last day. No man can. So it is mercy that drew you to him. It is mercy that drew you to the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. It is mercy. Do I qualify to sit here? No, I don't. I don't qualify to preach to anybody. Jeremiah 31 verse 3 says exactly the same thing. Then in verse 65 of this John 6, 65, by the grace of God, we say, it says, And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me except it we are given unto him of my father. So it is not by our expertise that will gain access or that will receive salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is the mercy of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Briefly, I'll go back to that uh, Romans 9. And I'll go to verse 18. Uh, it says 16 here and 18. Yes, it is not of him that will it run it. 18 says, therefore, had he mercy on whom he will have mercy. And whom he will, he had the net. Verse 23 says, by the mercy of God, verse 23 is still here. It says, and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory. On the vessels of mercy. We, we are called to be 
vessels of mercy. I'll give you, I, I was doing, you know, there's a song my dad always used to sing. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And those blessings could be storms sometimes. And God allowed you to go through it and he still showed mercy. Now I will give you a brief instance of how God has shown mercy in my own life. Just a few. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As a child, I had asthma. I struggled with asthma. Constantly in and out of the hospital. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord saved me through those many admissions. Asthma kills people every day. As a child, it was a, a severe problem, but God brought me through. It was mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I've testified so many times how my lungs was attacked or, or my eyes or my heart. 2009-10, I had a storm in my heart. I went to the hospital, they gave me some tablets and it turned to, you know, in my chest. I was having chest pain. I, I went to the hospital and they gave me some tablets, Bisopro tablets, and it turned to heart pain. You must be careful. God saved me from it. I'll be with friends and my heart will be beating so strongly like I was going to die the next second. How I managed to survive it, I don't know. God saved me. Mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I, I had a, an encounter one time and I couldn't eat anything. All my body was itching me. I, I went to the GP. They, they, they sent me for a blood test. And they said, oh, you're on the border of, uh, what do you call it, diabetes. You're on the border of diabetes. Okay, go on. We will do the test again. Run the test again. So all that period, all what I was eating for months, was beans, only beans, beans and water. Beans and water for months, for months, day in, day out. And the time came, it was a pastor's, by the grace of God, a, a pastor, Pastor Wale. It was his 50th birthday and he invited me, you know, Pastor Wale. And he invited me for his birthday. And I said to my wife, I'll go there and I'll eat anything I want to eat and nothing will happen. And I'm telling you, I went there, I ate everything. And I came out expecting, came home, expect, waiting for the itching to start. No itching. That was how it died. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When I was in the higher institution, we went through, uh, we joined the secret court. And the secret court, one thing it does is it exposes you to guns and different kinds of things. And God saved twice, two occasions. I was shot at close range, twice. First time was three shots. Second time was multiple shots because I was with my friends. And they rounded us and they said, I should stand. I should come out. And as I was coming there, they were, they were going to put a handcuff on my hands. And somehow I escaped. Somehow. And they started shooting. Some of my friends took bullet wounds there. True story. They are still alive. Mercy will save you from death in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Secondary school, I smoked weed. I went and smoked weed with friends. It Satan has tried repeatedly to destroy my life. I went and smoked weed with my friends. And I had a crack in my head. And my mom was taking me from hospital to, to pastor, uh, uh, Bishop Dureke. The bishop that ordained me. That was my first encounter with the bishop. I went to the, I, I met the bishop. A, 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 I don't want to say a madman, but I, I had issues there. And bishop prayed for me. I said, go and read Hebrews 11 every day. God said he will heal you, but be very careful next time. And God healed me. It was mercy that spoke in the name of Jesus Christ. It's not about, it's not about uh, uh, your choice or friends. You can, you, you can make choices and still make the wrong choices if mercy is not available. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ. Many things I went through. Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 secondary school. I was in JS2. JS2. How old was I? About 13. When I started going to the Hallow's house. Hallow's house. I'll take money from my cousin's bag. And I'll go to, uh, we used to call it uh, a place called Coconut Inn in my city. And I'll go there at 13 years old. I'll tell my friends that they couldn't go. They, they were innocent boys. And me, because of environment, I grew up in a, a, a broken home. It, it affected, it affects children. Broken home, you separate father and mother. Children do what they like. You must be careful, especially this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nevertheless, God saved me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't need to tell you that the high lord is judging me. But God, God, God rescued me from all those nonsense. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There are many of you going through the same storms now. And God is calling you in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I told you, primary six, I was already smoking paper with a friend of mine. With a friend of mine, he now lives in this country.
by the, uh, by the grace of God, he's been here for, for more than about 20 years now. We smoked the same papers together. And that guy, as I'm talking to you, he's been in and out of rehab. In and out of rehab. I don't know at this moment whether he sorted his life out. But I've been praying for him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God saved me. It is mercy that rescues. It is mercy that rescues. Growing up, I saw my dad. I, say, I said it so many times. My dad used cane to flog my mom. With a cane in our, in our presence. And we were so demoralized. God kept us in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When I met my wife, may the Lord take the glory always. In the name of Jesus Christ. God, this, this message, I didn't know it would go this detail. But God said, do it. And make, make it an hour show. And that's why we're here for, for the next hour in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When I met, met my wife the first time, I was so, she made me a bitter, angry man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Very bitter, very angry. Very angry with life. Very, very upset with everything. She met me. One, one time. And God take the glory again. We've been, by the grace of God, we've been together now 14 years. One time. I, 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 I was so angry, so infuriated, and I, I threatened that I would stab her. My own wife, my own wife, slapped her on the face, pat on her face. And God takes the glory as I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. True story before God. In the name of Jesus Christ. And, and God saved me from that anger. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are a lot of so many black, especially black, young men going through this type of anger. Destructive anger. Satan wants to destroy your life. Don't give him a chance. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. How crazy can you be to slap Oyubo girl in Oyubo land? How crazy can you be? Yes, she stood by me. Even in the storms, she will look at me and she'll say, I see you. You are supposed to be either a pastor or a lawyer. Two things she always said, pastor or lawyer. And she said, I saw the passion. She wasn't looking at the anger. She saw the passion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, who have you helped rescue from their troubles? Especially women. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, if Christ didn't change the heart, and before, before the world, by the mercy of God, you know, I know we've come through this. God has brought us through this and through so many things. And before the world, I also want to apologize. No, my wife is always watching us live. And I want to apologize before the world to my wife again. I say, I love you, you know, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And you know, thank God we have come through. And we are very strong in the name of Jesus Christ. In her words, she said, our relationship is perfect. Thank God, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Satan saw all the things that God was about to do. And he tried to stop me. Satan saw my salvation in Christ. And he battled in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The enemy saw the many nations that I'll be ministering into. While I was still in Nigeria, he saw it. And he tried to destroy. Not, not today. He saw that the, the, one day there will be a royal crown on my second board, main passport. And he tried to stop it. He saw our children, our three children, kingdom, freedom, and wisdom. And he tried to stop it. Please, I'm not receiving any calls on this show. You can call me after the show. Ministry of Flashers, salute. May God bless you in Jesus' name. But please don't distract us in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He saw that we'll be, I say he saw that we'll be ministering Christ into nations. And he tried to stop it. He couldn't in Jesus' name. He saw that one day that I'll be, I'll be living and residing in the mother of nations. And he tried to stop it. He did everything to stop out us. But mercy always stopped the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the supreme blood of Christ. That mercy is what I'm telling you about today. Jesus Christ is the mercy of the living God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When I came to this land. The first people I, 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 I lived with. And it, uh, it wasn't my fault though. The first people I lived with were criminals. Frosters. And uh, drug dealers in this land. When I came to this land. And they were going to put me in trouble, not even once, multiple times. And God saved me from their hand and separated me far from them. When there is a, the mercy of God upon your life, you will be rescued in Jesus' name. You will be rescued in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I, I testified so many times, many nights. I went from night club to night vigil, night vigil to night club. The enemy was trying to drag me back while I was trying to move forward in the Lord. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Once in 2005, uh, 2005 I, vi I visited Nigeria on a visit. I got so drunk, went to club with my friends, got so drunk, got so drunk. And we were coming out from the club. I was the driver and I was so drunk. And I, we sat in the car, all of us friends, and I was looking for the car keys. I opened the car with the car keys and the car keys disappeared. True story. We sat for the car keys for, for like one hour. We couldn't, we slept off. And by the morning, I had sobered up. And I just put my hand in my pocket and the car keys were there. God took away the car keys. Otherwise, we would have crashed that night. So many times, God has saved me. Mercy. It's mercy. It's not your hard work. When you have a thriving ministry, don't think you are you arrive by your power. When you have your own home, don't think you are, you are, you are arrived by your power. is the mercy of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's the mercy of God. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy on. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God took away those keys. May God be glorified. We'll take one call quickly. Okay, the call, call up, up dropped. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May God take the glory in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, who will not be distracted. I was nine years old when my mom bought my first Bible. I always talk about it. And it's here, actually. The Bible is here. I was nine years old when my mom bought my first Bible. I don't know whether she knew what she was doing, though. She bought my first Bible, handed it to me. A few years later, I started selling, I started getting Bibles from, I had a, a neighbor. We had a neighbor who, uh, he was, um, he had some dealings with uh, Gideon's, you know, the Gideon's Bibles. And so he had hundreds of them at his home. And I'll get from his sons, get from his sons, get from the man himself, and I'll be selling Bibles in the market. I was selling Bibles in the market. Not knowing that, what, but you know the, the, the thing, I've been asking the Lord, I say, why, I sold those Bibles, why didn't I sell the one that my mom gave to me? I didn't sell it. But I sold all those Bibles to get money. And you know those Bibles, they write, do not sell on them. And I was selling them to get money. And today, I'm the one buying Bibles. Buying Bibles. May the Lord be glorified. Mercy will preserve you in Jesus' name. It is mercy. It is mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may God be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. Several times when I was growing up, I had a young, a young, a young man that would grow up in my neighborhood. Several times he tried to molest me sexually. Several times he lives in this country now. And God rescued me from that guy's hand. Mercy. A lot of you are there now. That's why you, you, you must observe who is, who is around your children at all times. I grew up in a, in a divided house. And so everything in the house was divided. <laughs> May the Lord be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is delivering people as I minister in Jesus' name. He's rescuing people as I minister in the name of Jesus Christ. He's rescuing people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. God saved me in Jesus' name. He did. When we were growing up, even the... Even the this is why you fear God. Even the, 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 we had a, the, the, the young ladies in my neighborhood, they rejected me. I was a rejected guy. They rejected me. There was a lady, uh, she lived around the, uh, the, 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 the corner, around the, the, our neighborhood, a mixed race lady. And that lady multiply, didn't even give me audience for one day. Not knowing that one day God will give me my own wife with, with children who are also mixed. In the name of Jesus Christ. You must fear God in the name of Jesus Christ. God is delivering people. Where you think you are now, it is not the end of your life. I was in Nigeria and we had neighbors who traveled to the US, to the UK, all over the world. And when they came back, we would be running around them to see whether we'll get shirts or stuff from them. I'm telling you now, if they see me now, they will be admiring me by, because of the mercy of God. It is true. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And you shall be saved, you are your house. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My cousin called, rang me a few days ago and said to me, see the way you're raising your children. He said, we didn't have this upbringing. Who knows where we should have been? But it's not late. In the name of Jesus Christ. The, the word is coming to you. Psalm, Psalm 136 says, his mercies endures forever. His mercies. So what have you done that Christ cannot delete? What have you done? These are just few. What have you done? You need mercy. 
You need mercy. Sin will separate you from God. In the name of Jesus Christ. From the will of God. Sin will separate you from God. Sin will separate you from God. In the name of Jesus Christ. I woke up one morning. I remember in Nigeria. When I was in Nigeria, I remember I woke up one morning. And I needed to get a pen. My bed was, my mattress was on the floor. I needed to get a pen from under my mattress for a young guy who came. And I, and I raised my, I just woke up that morning. And I raised the, the mattress to bring my pen. And there was a live snake, poisonous snake, a live snake under my bed. And I just woke up. God saved me. One time again, I was going through our back door. We had the burglary proof there. And I, and I held the one for the windows. I held it to, to, to enter the door. And a snake slipped out of my hand. It was on the burglary proof. I didn't know it was dark. No light. Several times, if you check your, your story, you will know that God has been there. It is mercy. It is not because you fasted. It's not because you pay tight. People are paying tight and they are still, their life is stuck. It is the mercy of God. Tight works by, by the mercy of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say, look around you and you will find the mercy of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Maybe you've been in worse situations. Maybe it's possible. Yes. But remember to count your blessings. Count your blessings. I woke up one day and I said to myself... This is not the type of the type of the type of environment I grew up in. It's not the type of environment I want my children to grow up in. So I decided to make changes on my own. I decided to be a better person. I, I, I was hungry for God, but I decided to start dropping all the baggages. Nightclub, women, all girlfriends, all those things. I woke up one day, I said, This is enough in the name of Jesus Christ. You must wake up one day. To say this is enough. You must wake up one day to say this is enough. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wake up one day and tell yourself enough is enough. I was the same one. The same child who received that Holy Bible from my mom. Whether she knew what she was doing, I said, I don't know. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. She did not see those bullets coming. She didn't see the wave of attacks coming. She didn't see the weed coming along the way. She didn't see all those things. She just handed me the living word of the living God. And mercy did the rest of the work. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Learn from that in Jesus' name. Give your children the best. The word of God is the best. It will, res it will save. It will rescue. In Jesus' name. Let's go to Psalm 66. Psalm 66, 18 to 20. Psalm 66. Eighteen to twenty. Listen to what it says. Sixty-six, eighteen to twenty. Yeah, it says, "If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. But verily, God has heard me. He had attended to the voice of my prayer. How and why did He attend to the voice of my prayer? Blessed be God, which had not torn away my prayer, nor His mercy from me. Prayer stands on mercy." If I regard iniquity, but even in, um, in, in, in uh, was his second Psalms, he talked about his iniquities. Even though he constantly repented, it is not about whether he regarded iniquity or not. It was the mercy of God. Mercy made David's prayer hard. Not his righteousness or the absence of iniquity. It, is, it was not the absence of iniquity. Let's go to Psalm 130. You'll see a similar thing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 130. And, and I'll read from verse 2 to 4. It says, Lord, hear my voice. Let thy ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Lord, should mark iniquities, who will stand? That was the same man that said, if I regard iniquity in my heart. So you knew he was precisely making reference to God's basis. It was mercy. That's why the iniquity was waived. Jesus Christ is that mercy in Jesus' name. If I regard iniquity in my heart, God will not hear me. Then here he says, if thou, Lord, should mark iniquities, none will stand. Which means even him will not stand. But there is forgiveness, which is mercy, with thee, that thou mayest be feared. David confirmed it. There is forgiveness with the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. He takes mercy to forgive. And the mercy of God is with God. The scripture says he's seated at the right hand of the Father. Making intercession for us. Jesus Christ is the mercy of God who is sat at the right hand of God the Father in Jesus' name. Psalm 17, 
verse 7. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whoever is calling, we'll, we'll speak later. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 17, verse 7. And then Mark 16, 19. Every covenant of God, I say, is guaranteed by mercy. Mercy is above all. Prayer, fasting, tight, wisdom. Even wisdom depends on mercy. But scripture says by wisdom, he made, he created the heavens and the earth. But I'll show you that even wisdom, scripture shows us that even wisdom depends on mercy. Hard work, it is not your hard work. I, I said it, I've said it already. May God be glorified in Jesus' name. We go to James 3.17. It's a mercy for God. James 3.17. Now listen to what he says. He says, but the wisdom that is from above is first pure. This is wisdom from above. God's wisdom. First pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated. Full of mercy. Without mercy, no wisdom. And good fruits. Without partiality and without hypocrisy. The wisdom from above is full of mercy. Some of us have had have, have tattoos on our bodies. Before we, 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 we rededicated our lives to Christ. We, we got, we, some of us had tattoos on our body. It did not stop him from choosing us. It was mercy that chose us. God is full of mercy. He's a merciful God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. His mercy in Christ. Nailed your past foolishness on that cross of Calvary. His mercy in Christ Jesus. And here's what Angus Bochan. Angus Bochan, I was watching him. Uh, it was in 2016. And here's, listen to what he said. The South African pastor, Angus Bochan. He said, I've never been to prison in my life. At one point or another in our lives, we have all committed one crime or another. Stolen something. Cheated someone, told a lie, all of us. The only reason why we didn't go to prison is because we were not caught. Not because we were innocent. Christ came to delete that history. Now, no, I'm, adding, I'm saying that Christ came to delete that history. This is what he said. I've already said what he said. Now I say, Christ came to delete your ugly history. He came to delete it. That is why you will have the boldness to tell people. It's not because you're bragging. It's because you know that it is the mercy of God that has kept you. Multiple times you, you were supposed to die, even in accidents on the road, so many times. And he said, we all, need God, we all need God's mercy in Christ Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Deuteronomy 7, 9. Deuteronomy 7, 9, and it says almost a similar thing in 1 Kings 8, 23. Deuteronomy 7, 9. Listen to what it says. 7, 9. It says, Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy. Without mercy, there is no covenant. He keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. I, 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 I should skip this one, but I'll read it. 1 Kings 8.23. 8.23. May God be glorified. 8.23. It says, And he said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God like thee. This was Solomon's prayer. In heaven above or on earth beneath, who keepeth covenant and mercy. Covenant has nothing to stand on without mercy. You keep a covenant and mercy with thy servants that walk before thee with all their heart. With thy servants that walk before thee. The covenant stands and walks. Walks by mercy. I say without mercy, the covenant is weak and has no foundation. In Luke 18, 9 to 14, the Lord Jesus told us about the Pharisee and the publican. The Pharisee bragged about his fasting and his tithes. He's been a good person doing charity works. And the publican didn't even come close. And he beat his heart and said, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. And the Lord Jesus said he went home justified. Luke 18, 9 to 14. I said the covenant of tithe fully depends on God's mercy. Listen. In Malachi 3.10, Malachi 3.10, God said, prove me now. Hear it. In Matthew 23.23, Jesus Christ said, there are weightier matters. God said that Titan in Titan prove me. Jesus Christ came and told us 
that there are weightier matters, heavier matters, more important matters, more relevant, in the name of Jesus Christ. And he mentioned them. He called them the law, law which is God's word, judgment, mercy, and truth. Now listen, the law, the, the word of the, God's word, even if it's the law of Moses, Christ, God's mercy, came to fulfill the law. Jesus Christ said it himself in Matthew 5, 17. I came to fulfill the law. I came to fulfill the law, Jesus said. He came to fulfill the law. That was one of the four things Jesus mentioned. Judgment. Without mercy, judgment does not hold. Judgment requires mercy. And mercy triumphs over judgment. We see in James 2.13. It says mercy triumphs over judgment. And then he mentioned mercy. There are weightier matters than the tithe. Mercy is one of them. And among the list that Jesus gave, mercy is the only one that stands on his own. That can stand on his own. Mercy will save you from any nonsense. The mercy of God. Lamentations 3, 22, that was our this first scripture we read. Mercy is the only one that stands on his own. And then the fourth thing he mentioned was faith. Faith depends on mercy. Romans 9, 16. In Romans 9, 16. It is not of you that will it. I will do this. You have the faith. I will do this. I will do that. It is not of you that will it nor on it. It is of God that showeth mercy. Faith depends on mercy. Faith depends on mercy. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ. Faith depends on mercy. Law, the law depends on mercy. Judgment depends on mercy. Mercy stands on its own. And faith depends on mercy. In Ecclesiastes 9, 11, The scripture told, tells us that the race is not to the swift. The race is not to the swift. It is not by, I, I will do this, I will do that. It's not your energy. The race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. It's not by your strength. It's not by your strength. Great Britain, it's not by your strength that you're winning battles. It's mercy. Mercy. Bread is not to the wise. I work hard. That's why we, we don't lack. It is not, it's not by your hard work. If, if God does not show mercy, you will walk and walk and miss. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. You must acknowledge the mercy of God. And then he says, riches are not to men of understanding. He has some people, I don't want to say pastors, just of course respect. He has some people, they say, oh, I read this person's book. I read books, of course. I do read books. By the mercy of God, we, as, a, as a household, we do pay our tithes as a, as a ministry as well. So it is not by all those things. It's not by how many books you've read. I, I've, read uh, I've read this person's book. I've read, of course, I make reference to books as well. It's not about the books. It's the mercy of God. It's the mercy of God. How did I know how to prepare the messages that God gives us? No pastor, by the mercy of God, I say this again. No pastor anywhere on earth has sat me down to say this is how, or sat me down anytime, any day, to say this is how. I never, no Bible school saw me. No Bible school. I didn't know anything. When God said go in the ministry, I said, what do I know that I'll preach? I was studying the Bible. But what do I know that I'll preach? Because he's asking me to do something that I, in my own eyes, it's not possible. But he already said go. And then he confirmed it on the same day. Say go and do it. But what do I know that I'll preach? And then a few months later, he said, go on TV. I said, I have, I'm still trying to understand this one. And he said, go on TV. And then it took me another year and a half before, before we even came on the TV. If not the mercy of God, what do I know that I'll teach, teach anybody? What do I know that I'll teach anybody? The mercy of God. Acknowledge the, the mercy of God in your life. You will recognize the mercy of God after this day in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like that, my, dad, my dad's song used to say, Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Hebrews 4.16, may God be glorified. Hebrews 4.16, it says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy. You obtain mercy 
and find grace to help in time of need. Mercy is obtained. It's a gift. Grace is found. It requires effort. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I didn't say it. Scripture said. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Matthew 5, 7. Matthew 5, 7. If you show mercy, you will get mercy. Blessed are the merciful, for they will obtain mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go to 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 to 4. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 to 4. Let me see. Is this 2 Corinthians? I'm in first. Sorry. Three to four. It says, Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforted us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we, wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Mercy, God is the father of mercies. God is the father of mercies, making us baby mercies. The father of mercies. So we are supposed to represent mercy. This is what the scripture is saying. Baby mercies in Christ. If you don't show mercy, God is not your father. If you don't show mercy, God is not your father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go to Psalm 103 quickly. Now, Psalm 103 tells us something. Psalm 103, verse 3, I think. Yeah. Psalm 103, verse 4, sorry. Verse 4. He says, who, who redeemed thy life from destruction, who crowned, which is God, who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Mercy is a crown. It's God's crown. Christ, when you receive Christ, you've received a crown of life. Yes. Even though he said he will give us a crown of life. But when you receive Christ, a crown, a spiritual crown is already placed on you. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. I said to receive that crown, you must receive the Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen to Proverbs 11.17. Proverbs 11.17. Proverbs 11, 17. It says, The merciful man doeth good to his own soul. The merciful man does good to his own soul. And Christ seeks your soul. He said, But he that is cruel, wicked, troubleth his own flesh. Now listen to a simple interpretation. Showing mercy empowers your soul for eternity. It empowers your soul for eternity. Wickedness troubles your body. Proverbs 11, 17. The merciful, the merciful man doeth good to his own soul. But he that is cruel, wicked, troubleth his own flesh. He says, I was hungry and you fed me. And I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was naked and you clothed me. I was in prison and you visited me. The Lord Jesus Christ. We know the story of the good Samaritan. Luke 10, 29 to 37. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let's go to the book of Hosea 10, 12. Hosea 10, 12. Listen to what it says here. By the grace and mercy of God. Hosea 10, 12. It says, Sow to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy. <laughs> you sow in righteousness, you reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground. For it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain righteousness upon you. You sow in righteousness. You can sow in righteousness. You can plant in righteousness. You can walk as hard as you want to in righteousness. But only mercy guarantees that you reap. Only mercy. Only mercy guarantees that you reap. Mercy is God's lifeline. To all humanity. In the person of Jesus Christ. His son. Mercy. Is your lifeline. You sow. You had it. 
you saw a righteousness, not in sin. You, 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 you saw a righteousness, but still, you need mercy to guarantee that you reap. He said you sow in righteousness. Only mercy guarantees that you reap. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're going to Titus um, 3.5. Titus 3.5. He says, Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit will renew you. It's not by works of righteousness. But according to his mercy, he saved us. I say it is not about reading books. You see so many books. You say, uh, uh, how do they say it? How to do this? How to do pra oh, practical steps. Yeah. Practical steps to this one. Practical steps to that one. It's all study. We hear about the testimonies of the people that say, oh, it worked for me. What about the many others it didn't work for? It is mercy that guarantees that it works. It's not about practical steps or anything. The practical steps is Jesus Christ. I said many followed those practical steps and they still failed. It's mercy. It's mercy. Everybody can open the Bible. This Bible, you see people open the Bible every day. Maybe millions and millions of people open the Bible every day. But so many don't even understand what is happening in the Bible. I remember about three years ago, I was... Um, I just parked the car and I was uh, still in my car. My neighbor was just walking past and we started uh, having a conversation. And uh, in a few minutes, I was, you know, it just boiled out from me, scriptures. And I was just quoting scriptures and telling her, quoting scriptures and telling her. We were there like, for about 10 minutes. And she said to me, I grew up in church. My father was a minister in Jamaica. She said, but I came to this country, I jumped into the world. And then Satan battered her hell that time. And she said to me, I watch Christian TV. I don't even understand what they're saying. I open my Bible. I can't understand. He said, but in 10 minutes, these few minutes I've been with you, my eye open. It's like something drop off my eye. My neighbor. It's not about opening Bible. It's the mercy of God. When his spirit decides to reveal, he will reveal for his glory. Only for his glory in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is the mercy of God. It is time to put God back in his place and recognize that it is the mercy of God. It is the mercy of God. He says, I will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. He says, the anointing that you have received, it will teach you. Same anointing will teach you. John 14, 26, 1 John 2, 20 and 27. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's, let's go quickly to 2 uh, Samuel. Second Samuel. Because we got a few minutes left. By the grace of God. Second Samuel. Um, Second Samuel 24. And in verse 10 to 14. I don't know if, I, if I'm going to read all, but God will help us in Jesus' name. 10 to 14. Now it says... And David's heart smote him after when he did the census. After that, he had numbered the people. And David said unto the Lord, I have sinned greatly in that I have done, in, the, in that I have done. And now I beseech thee, O Lord, take away the iniquity of thy servant. He was constantly faced with iniquities. For I have done very foolishly. For when David was up in the morning, the word of the Lord came unto the prophet God, David here, saying, Go and say unto David, Thus saith the Lord, I offer the three things. Choose thee one of them. And he gave him the three things. And then, uh, in verse, I think it's verse, verse 14, we are supposed to stop. Let me, let me just jump to that one. He says, And David said unto God, when he, the three things we are, have been listed, he, he said unto God, I am in a great strait. Let us fall now into the hand of of the Lord, for his mercies are great, and let me not fall into the hand of men. He depended on God's mercy. But notice what happened here. When David was responding to God's uh, prophecy, he said, He, David, I am in a great strait. I am. But when he was saying, let, let me, he didn't say, let me fall into the hands of God. He said, let us fall into the hands of God. Why? Because he was the leader. And if the leader is destroyed, the people are destroyed. 
So he says, let us. I am the one that sinned, but let us fall into the hands of God. And then he said, and let me not fall into the hand of man. Because if he was going to fall into the hand of man, he will, he will fall in alone. Because one of the options was that his enemies would chase him for, was it three years or for three months? Or seven, let me see. That his enemies would chase him. He says, choose thee for three months, thy enemies. Three months. Thy enemies will chase thee. And he said, let us. Because if, as a people, if, if the, uh, whatever plague was coming, if it was a plague, it would affect everybody. And then maybe because of one righteous person in that camp, God will say, let's, let me have mercy. So he says, let us fall into the hands of God so he can save us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. David said, let us. In the name of Jesus Christ. I hope that this message will be, it will be a blessing to many people out there. And that you know that some of the storms you're going through, Satan has put a demon to torment you. And to make sure you are destroyed so that your, your destiny is not fulfilled. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That that which God has proposed for you will come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That all things will work together for your own good. All things. And that the Lord himself will perfect that which concerns you in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you want to really rededicate your life to Christ, we can say the prayer before I, I, I will do one or two things again. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I accept your many mercies. I accept your help that you've done for me. And I accept the love, your love that you show me by your sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. And I receive you into my heart today. Lord Jesus Christ, come and save me. I cannot help myself. Lord, save me. I depend on you from this day forward. And give me the gift of your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, that I will have the grace and the mercy to commune with you from this day forward. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that my name be placed in the book of life. Never to be removed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you might also... Pray and, and say to, to, to the Lord that you are available in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I am available. Use my life experiences, my testimonies, my errors to repair the lives of many. Because the Lord wants to use us. The reason why he allows us to go through storms is so he can use it to repair the lives of others. The reason why we learn about David is so that we don't become like David. It is not after you've read the story of David, you go and fornicate with another Beersheba in the name of Jesus Christ. That is not why they are there. They are there for us not to make the same mistakes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And if you haven't been studying your Holy Bible, this is the time to start. In the name of Jesus Christ. The God has saved you through this pandemic. Some people think it's by their strength. I see them. They think it's by their power. And the, the naked people are already being naked again because of summer. But may God help you in Jesus' name. May your life not be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May your life not be destroyed. May your life be preserved. And I have one charge for someone again. From the book of uh, Ephesians 4, 26 to 27. I should have brought this charge on some shows ago, but we didn't have the time. It says, be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. And give no opportunity to the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I was discussing with my wife uh, some, I think, two weeks ago. Uh, and I was just saying to her that, that anger is the quickest sin. That I think, this is what I think. Anger is the quickest sin. And she says the most common too. <laughs> it's the most common, most common anger can throw you off course anger can throw you off course that before you recover from that anger if you don't have the mercy of God before you recover from the consequence of your anger you, 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 you will not understand what you have done to yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ it's time to repent in Jesus name if you seek God's mercy remember to show mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and the Lord Jesus Christ bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ empower you, equip you in the name of Jesus Christ. Give you the strength to overcome the, the times and the seasons that we are in. In the name of Jesus Christ. Preserve you and let the only lion outside that you will encounter outside. The only lion that you will encounter outside. Let it be the lamb, the lion of the tribe of Judah. The Lord himself. In the name of Jesus Christ. And as a count 
Your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. We sing again to the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. We give you thanks for all you have done. We are so blessed. Our souls have found rest. Oh Lord, we give you thanks and we are giving you all the thanks. Thanks, thank you, Lord. Thanks, thank you, Lord. We give you thanks for all you have done in my life. I am so blessed. My soul has found rest. Oh, Lord, I give you thanks. And instead of that, go increase, multiply, and expand in numbers in Yeshua's name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, check us on YouTube. On Facebook, call us, pray for us. By the end of this day, this uh, program sh should be on YouTube in Jesus' name. You can watch it in Jesus' name. And the Lord bless you and keep you and, and cause his face to shine upon you and preserve your life in Jesus' name. And let his name be marked upon you in the name of Jesus Christ until the next show. Shalom, 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 shalom. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Watching Faith World TV. Faith World TV, changing the world with the Word of God.